Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to a new video today. We are in Switzerland at the Zurich Car Show and I'm going to show you the first details of the DS9. So a luxurious limousine and let's start with this gorgeous front. I mean, just look at the attention to detail. So the grille itself, the DS logo and also this section here. So the front bonnet is divided into two sections and uh, it's also looking very, very luxurious this way. And uh, the lights, LED lights, they have this impressive daytime running LEDs. And look at this purple elements. Now, how cool is that? DS LED vision lights, a lot of chrome here. And this all looks really gorgeous and elegant. Tell me in your comments, how do you like it? Let us now check out the specs of the model in our video. You may be wondering about this beautiful color. Well, the name is Midnight Blue. The technical details, this is a 225 horsepower plug-in hybrid. So combination of petrol and electric motor. We have the 19 inch wheels and these are the options. This is the full price in Swiss francs. You can pause the video here to see all of the details and the equipment. Let me show you the side profile. Almost five meters. 4.93 is the length, huge. And uh, yeah, well, you have the very beautiful door handles. I will show you that in a moment, but let's check out the wheels. These are the diamond cut wheels, but actually let me show you here as we can see more details here. Paired with the Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tires, dimension 235-45 R19. Let me show you the car from the rear. There we go. And just how gorgeous is this? The attention to detail is really on another level. Just look at the light, the signature here, then the chrome line that is connecting the lights to make the car appear even wider than it is. We have the, let's say, almost like a spoiler here. And of course, the lovely DS badge and the bumper. Look at this. Nice surprise. The exhausts are real thumb up big thumb up for me i wasn't expecting that if we open the tailgate there we go huge amount of room here look how deep that is square shape and uh, well yeah some practical elements such as this net press it again it closes and now we are ready to explore the interior now the cool door handles they pop out and you are ready to enter this gorgeous interior with awesome materials. Look at this, all in leather, nice stitching. The seats also have this cool stitching. And let's see it from driver's perspective. Let's start with the wider view, flat bottom steering wheel, nice digital cockpit. And uh, yeah, well, this is the main touchscreen. Press it three times to go into the home menu. Look at this, the attention to detail. Start engine button, how cool is that? Once again here, the leather and the ambient lights that go throughout the whole car. The new gear selector for the automatic transmission. And actually, I will change the view now back to the standard one. Okay, there we go. So this is the switch for the driving modes. You have Eco, Comfort, Normal, Sport and Manual. Let's put it to Sport. And well, yeah, then you change some of these settings, of course, for the drive, electronic parking brake. Then we also have the buttons for the windows, lock and unlock. If you press this, you get the adjustable cup holders. Press this and you have the storage room. And well, yeah, now off to the infotainment system. As I said, with three fingers, you press it, you go into the main menu vehicle settings you have a bunch of information here and settings you can adjust the mood lighting there are various colors available here so that's quite cool and uh, yeah well it's all pretty responsive ac controls and yes the ac is on switches so maybe not ideal but not bad because it's pretty responsive you also have some of the uh, shortcuts here let's see the navigation
let's go back and uh, well yeah that's pretty much it I also want to show you some cool features for example if we press this you go into the DS sensorial drive and you choose your ambience now I press the my cashmere I have now different layout here different colors and I also have the seat massage and you adjust those settings here so lighting ambience dynamic uh, which mode you want in driver massage and the passenger massage if we press titanium immediately we have different view different colors everything is red here and you have different settings on that one you can of course configure that out or you deactivate it and now back to the standard one how cool is that this is the volume knob button for the music and yeah well that's pretty much it hazard lights the steering wheel has some of the buttons for changing of the tracks or volume and stuff like that and uh, let's see this we can also change the views here so night vision look at this minimum personal this one can be configured navigation with the big navigation screen and 3d shape of the buildings driving and dials so many options are available and yeah the infotainment system is really good this car also has the panoramic roof let me show you the sun visors with LED lights and the pattern of those uh, buttons here is the same as the pattern throughout the whole car that's quite cool and well yeah you have the LED lights here as well And let me show you how it looks from the rear at the rear bench and the rear bench is a great place to be in this car because just look at this huge amount of room for my knees and i adjusted the front seat for my comfortable position and i'm a meter 87 so that's really impressive press this you get the cup holders and uh, yeah well let me also show you how much space i have for my head but before that uh, the ac controls and two usb ports are over there and this is it so still some room available here but look how much space i have i'm really relaxed here and uh, i could drive for hours or should i say be driven here for hours even though i would always prefer the front seat as I believe this car is also fun to drive. Let's see what's underneath the bonnet. There we go. We do have hydraulic struts in this car. We have the plug-in hybrid here. So a combination of uh, electric motor and petrol unit. And there will be actually various plug-in hybrids available later on but also a pure petrol version is coming as well uh, so yeah a lot to choose from actually but i think this plug-in hybrid with 225 horsepower is a good choice for this model and that's it guys thank you very much for watching this video do subscribe to the channel in order to see more car reviews and see you on the next one bye bye